Okay, we did what I did before, and I'm just gonna run away. Oh, it changed buttons, the fucking game! Heading forward. So, until otherwise told, told, told otherwise, I'm assuming that dude is the killer, <laughs> or at least like the nightmare, nightmare world form of the killer, or some shit like that. What? What? No, no, this is not a boss fight, is it? No, the Martians, they got me! Red Ivy, okay, I'm getting all the keys to my investigation. Profiling stopped. Do you see? Okay, that, that was a little creepy the first time it happened, but now I know all the images. I'd like to see different images pop up. But hey, maybe that's just me. Okay, so I've learned some things. This game has really annoying quick time events. Something in time. You think? You feel it, sir? I oh, feel it. What? Yesterday morning, the milk I poured in my coffee made the sun. What? It said. Tomorrow you'll arrive at a place that will change your fate. I want, I want what this guy... I don't know if this guy is smoking, but I want some of it. Oh, here's another thing. This is doing the same thing a lot that I find out that a lot of games do, where it's like justifying like why the save points exist. It's like, oh, I'm making a call back to headquarters, even though I don't know why I'd call back and tell them about that shit. Unless I'm not actually working for the F Unless I was working for the BPRD or some shit. I'm gonna go the wrong way. Is there anything over in this direction? Probably not. I should head towards my destination marker. That's a weird noise my feet be making. Okay, so that bar builds up, and if I build it up too high, he'll get freaking exhausted and shit. Greenvale Nature Preserve, Lake County Forest Preserves. You now the graphics aren't the best, but you know I, I can get over that if I need to. Well, the game's good enough. I don't give a shit about the graphics, but okay, same freaking sign. Oh, oh, now I can observe it. Welcome to Gre It does not say, Welcome to Greenville. <laughs> but once again, I would still like some of what this dude is smoking. Because he seems to have a very interesting life. What is with that squelching noise? <laughs> That's just a weird sound effect. <laughs> I'm never going to be saying that every time I record. Now we're not even an hour in. <laughs> you were very late. Emily Wyatt. Greenvale Deputy Sheriff. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. FBI 
special agent, Francis York Morgan. Please, just call me York. That's what everyone calls me. Okay. Agents York? Good, that's good. Are you the sheriff? Uh, no, I'm Deputy Sheriff and Lyon. George, he's the sheriff. He's at the point, actually. He should be back soon. I see. If you don't mind me asking, did you walk all the way in? <laughs> My car broke down, that's all. Putting it lightly. Interesting music. Zing on the eyes. Definitely worth a trip to the primitive world. By the way, don't mention anything about what happened back there. <laughs> You're a psycho. <laughs> she probably already thinks you're a psycho. She probably already thinks you're a psycho. I'm the sheriff, George Woodman. No, you're Tim McGraw. Woodman. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please, just call me York. That's what everyone calls me. Could you tell me why the FBI is so interested in a small town homicide? Let's just say it's a personal interest in killers of young women. I'm always looking for new sample cases to help me with my program. Both our superiors are with each other. You can remain in command. You don't have a problem with this, do you? No. No problem. Just want to set things straight. Our small town has its share of problems. I'm the one fixing them one by one and maintaining peace and order. You can have your profile example, but I need you to understand that. <coughs> of course. By the way, George, I had a little accident with my car. Could you send someone to take care of it? Oh, and my close luggage are still inside. <laughs> and I like it. <laughs> oh, I shudder to think what my ultimate grade is going to be. Oh, I cleared it. I don't get a grade. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Okay, this auto save is a little less jarring than that first one was. How long have I been playing? Only 15 minutes, huh? It feels like I've been playing for longer. Zach View. Previously during the investigation, these puppies are making me go to another town in the boondocks again. 
I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. Welcome. I'm Sheriff George Woodman. Come, George. There is something in this town. You feel it, Zach? Ugh. No, yeah, it's completely gloss over the fact that some dude in a red robe tried to kill us. It's broken. It's been using that book for a long time. Why didn't you get it repaired? This TV isn't working for you, right? Yeah, it's got some memories attached to it, sure. I used to watch movies on this thing with your grandma all the time. Grandma likes movies? Of course she did. Everyone loves movies, right? I love movies too. I've never been to a movie theater now. Okay. Episode 1, First Day of Investigation? Angel Isaac. Sugar Donut. Satisfy a small amount of hunger. Okay, does he eat it when I pick it up? I'm a little confused as to that. Are we not entirely normal? I'm starting to think there's something weird going on with this guy specifically. Like, you know, aside from the obvious fact that he's talking to an imaginary friend who's kind of mental. What? I hear a wolf. So I fucked up my mannequins. Oh, I'm gonna beat their ass when I find them. So, does this game make sense later on? <laughs> I probably shouldn't ask that question, but still. Don't like that. Your. Your. That is a weird exclamation point. Wait, I think that's the girl. Chicago. <laughs> oh, come on, my finger's eating sore. And that's really creepy. Just move! before my finger slips.
Those are the creepy eyes. Okay, weird shit be happening. Wow, we must have picked the biggest goddamn bed in the entire motel. Unless you have multiple hookers sleeping with you, you do not need a bed that big. Of course, maybe you just had to make room for a sec. Zack, the symbolism in my dreams continues to intensify. A forest of red trees. A carpet with red leaves. A strange doll. And twin angels. But that child is what bothers me the most. I swear I've seen it before. I just can't remember where. Well, that'll probably come back to me eventually. For now, we need coffee. <laughs> oh, I thought we were going to have to go to the cafeteria, Zach. I hope they have some real coffee. I really need some coffee. Then we can head to the sheriff's office. There's a proper procedure for everything, right, Zach? <laughs> I was kind of hoping we would have to, like, like get dressed and stuff, like... Ooh, we can change our suit? Ah, uh, no, I'm not gonna do that, no. I'm gonna stick to my basics. Save, I'll save for now. Yeah, I like to save, because I never know in one of the... Seriously, look how huge that bed is. I can't get over that. <laughs> yeah, but I like to save a lot, especially when there's really cheap QTEs coming up. Well, oddly enough, I don't actually hate QTEs all that much. I have the feeling that I forgot. Got some what? Toolbox. I don't need anything right now, I don't think. Oh, do we have to take a piss? Is that it? Is that what we forgot? Oh, a shave. So, do we get to mimic? Oh, I was kind of hoping we get to do like in heavy rain. It's too bad, I guess. Okay, then how do I shower? Or bathe, as the case may be. I guess I don't bathe. I guess I guess York doesn't bathe. 